Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel all about electronics. So in this question, we have been given this circuit and we have been asked to find the power which is getting dissipated across this 100 ohm resistor. So in this circuit, there are two voltage sources. One is the AC voltage source and the second is the DC voltage source. Let's say this voltage source is equal to Vs. So to find the power dissipation, we will analyze this circuit in the two parts. The first is when this voltage Vs is less than the 5 volt and the second is when this Vs is greater than 5 volt. So first of all, let us analyze this circuit when this voltage source Vs is less than 0. So during the negative half cycle, this normal diode will act as a open circuit. And in that case, this zener diode will also remain open circuited because the zener voltage of the zener diode is equal to 5 volt. That means it will turn on when the voltage across the zener diode is greater than 5 volt. That means whenever the voltage Vs is less than 0 volt or during the negative half cycle, the current which is flowing through the 100 ohm resistor will be equal to 0. Similarly, during the positive half cycle, when the voltage Vs is less than the 5 volt, then this zener diode will still remain off. But in that case, this normal diode will also remain off. Because if you see over here, the voltage at the anode of this diode is less than the cathode. So in that condition, this normal diode will also remain open circuited. That means in short, when the voltage Vs is less than the 5 volt, then both diodes will remain open circuited and the current through the 100 ohm resistor will be equal to 0. Similarly, now let us see the circuit when the voltage Vs is greater than 5 volt or during this time. So at that time, the voltage at the anode of this normal diode will be greater than the cathode. So this normal diode will turn on and simply it will act as a short circuit. And at that time, since the voltage across the zener diode is greater than 5 volt, so it will operate in the breakdown region and the voltage across the zener diode will be equal to 5 volt. So in this case, if you see, the voltage at both end of this 100 ohm resistor is equal to 5 volt. That means no current will flow through this 100 ohm resistor. That means during the entire cycle, the no current is flowing through the 100 ohm resistor. Or we can say that the power which is getting dissipated across the 100 ohm resistor is equal to 0. So from this, we can say that for the given question, C is the correct answer.